Hello everyone, my name is Chris Wilkie and I'd like to welcome you to the Shively walkthrough. It's part of the La Follette complex. And before we get to the rooms, Shively is an interesting building. So I want to talk about a few things before we go in. Number one, we have different styles of rooms on different floors. So as we go through here, you're not going to see the same room with the same dimensions in the same areas with the same style of bathrooms. So you're going to get a little bit different as you go through. We're also going to show you kind of where you'd be moving in if when you come here to go into the halls. So as you can tell, we're into the Knotts Edwards slash Shively area, and it's going to make a difference as we go in when you move in. So when move-in day comes, you'll actually be out in front of these two areas. So you'll be parking or unloading your items, getting a cart, and you'll be coming in this way. So here's Knotts Edwards slash Shively. You're going to come in this way. And if you were watching earlier videos, you know that Knott's Edwards is right here. What you're going to do is you're going to wheel your stuff in. Sorry about the fans, but you're going to go this way. So in order to get to Shively, this is kind of interesting, Shively is located in that elevator that's downstairs. Well, you can't carry all of your stuff downstairs. So what you're going to do is you're going to check in here. You're going to proceed down to Mish Hurst which is the old hall within the Follett that has been torn down and that has offices and part of it. So we're gonna show you where you go. So you're gonna wheel your stuff all the way down here. And you're gonna go into these doors on this side. Now these doors are going to allow you to go in. You'll take the elevator down. And then what you'll do is you'll end up downstairs. I'll point it out when we get down here. You'll end up coming out of an elevator right over on this side. You'll wheel your items in. And you'll come and go to this elevator unit for Shively. So now you do have two uh, dining facilities down here. You have courtside and out of bounds. This is an all-you-can-eat buffet area. And it has breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and different rotating entrees through there. Salad bar. Um, they also have soups, and you have fruit. Uh, breakfast items like waffles. Over on this side is more of a convenience store style. It's over there, so we'll show you that in a few minutes. So now Shively, there's only one entrance into Shively, and that's through this elevator. You have to have your ID card. So what you'll do is you tap this, get up. Now with the way Shively is set up, we've got floors two and three, have usually double to single style rooms, and they have a community style bathroom. So those are the first two levels. Level four is where we have our desk at. So we're going to start there. So the desk is located on level four. So we're going to go up to four. Levels four through ten, they have your semi-private to private bathroom setups. And there are singles, doubles, and large doubles within this area. So as we go through, you're going to see a lot of different things. You're going to see some with closets. You're going to see some with wardrobes. Some with furniture that's already stacked, some where it's not. I'll try to show you guys as much as we can while we're here. So we're on fourth floor, or the fourth floor currently, and here's where your front desk is at. So you have your mailbox. These are a little bit different. You got a two turnstile type of mailbox here, and it works just like the other mailboxes here on campus. You'll get your mail daily here, and if you have a package, they'll email you or put a slip within the mailbox to let you know that you have a package. So you have a lounge area over here. It's got a, a piano. TV, ping pong tables, some lounge equipment. It's currently being cleaned, but you do have access to that. Over, if we go this way, we have some we have some bathrooms, a men's and a women's bathroom here. Then, if we go down to the end, we have the computer lab. So the computer lab is located at this corner here, and as you can tell, you have a few different computers, Mac scanners, and a printer. And it's a nice little break if you want a little bit of air conditioning on this floor. So this is the fourth floor. It's computer lab. You're also your hall director has their office and apartment up on this area. So we're going to move up to the fifth floor, and we're going to show you some of the. Uh, we're going to go to the fifth and sixth floor. We're going to show you some of the different setups that are there. So we're going to go back to the elevator, and we're going to go up. 
we're going to start with the six because I did have one request for returning the student who already knew what room they were in because they got to choose their room. So we're going to go walk around their single room so they can see what that looks like. Everybody else can get an idea of what that is. But if you have questions, now's a great time to do that. You can type them in and we'll answer them and try to get to as many as we possibly can. So for the student who asked me to show them room 606, here you go. Um, here is your room. You've got a wardrobe, a dresser unit, a desk with a hutch, and uh, locked. this would be stackable furniture. So when I say stackable furniture, I'll show you when we go down to the second floor, because we have one that's stacked up. But there's different ways you can move this. So right now, this bed is up. You can tell it's up high. If we go across the way, we can see one that is a little bit, here's the restroom if anybody wanted to see that. Um, floors four through 10 have shared, semi-private or private restrooms. It just depends on the room. So now you can have your bed go up that high. You can have it down low. So you can tell we just walked across it and we all of a sudden we went from a single to a double. This one has two wardrobes and an old closet area, desk and dresser. The furniture all looks the same. So we've explored the, the rooms here. We haven't seen a lot of different furniture. Some have closets, some have wardrobes but it's the bathrooms and the setup. So this is what we'd call a regular double. So just so everyone's aware, if you have one of these, your wardrobe's just over seven feet tall. It's roughly 38 and a half inches. You got doors here, pretty deep. It does have a mirror within the wardrobe right here. In case you want a mirror, you don't have to bring one. If you have a wardrobe in that room. We also got a full length mirror here. We got our beds. At their current height, you can fit roughly 13 and a half inches underneath of it. These run about 35. And then you have this dresser unit that's at 30, 30, and 24. You do have shelves over here. You do have the, the desk and the hutch. That at its high point is 60 inches. So now when you stack furniture, and I'll show you guys downstairs, what you do is you take off the two ends of the beds. One stacks on the other, there's, there's these pins that go in it. And one half of the bed sits on that. The other half goes on the desk. So on average, you have about five foot under the desk when you stack the furniture up. I can tell this is stacked furniture because it has the peg holes here, and the peg holes are on top of the dress or the desk. That is how you know that you have stackable furniture. So if we look in other halls, that's what we're looking for. Loftable would have these bed posts that were up about this tall, and you can bump it up to any level. This one, you have two different levels you can apply it to, and then you can stack it if you'd like to get that lofted appeal. So you don't need a loft if you're living within Shively. Okay. Yes, it looks like we have some questions, and I expect a lot of questions within this hall. Do we clean the semi-private bathrooms ourselves, or does someone come in and clean them for us? I think you have to keep them somewhat clean, but I do think there's a deep cleaning scheduled. I will double check on that, as I do not know the, comp the correct answer there. Okay. Should we buy cleaning supplies ourselves, or are they provided? Uh, for what would be the question, but majority of the items, if you want to clean your room, you'll need to bring your own cleaning supplies. They do provide brooms and vacuums. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, I'll show you a few other rooms on this floor. It's interesting as we go along. So this would be a regular double as well. So semi-similar to that. We have another single here. So it all depends on your room number. You'll get that during check-in. You also kind of have an idea if you had a roommate or not, if you have a single or a double. Um, as for large doubles, you can walk to the bathroom on each on the other side. This is another single over here. This is a regular double over here. So again, just varies on which ones we look at. So we're gonna go down a floor. Floor number five, there's a kitchenette that they're working on renovating right now. Looks like it has an oven and a range and a sink. Here's a laundry facility. They're cleaning that up. So you have two dryers, two washers within here, and a sink along with folding table and a microwave. Microwave probably goes back in the kitchenette, but that's where it's at right now. 
So you look through, you have another single room here. This looks like a single, another double, another double, single, single. This would be called a large double. So some of you may have seen this on your hall sheet, but this will be what we call a large double. So you can see how much different in size it is compared to the other items or other rooms. So you will get to find this out when you get your room number, but this is what a large double looks like. And measurements in here are gonna be almost impossible because my tape measure will not reach wall to wall, but these are rather large rooms in comparison to the other ones. Do you have any questions before we move on to a few other hall or rooms? How much room did you say is under the beds that are lofted? So lofted, they'll be about five feet because it'll be as tall as this dresser. The bed will sit on top of it. So you have about five feet underneath that. Any other additional questions? Okay, let's go down to floors two and three now. So as I mentioned, your floors four through 10 have what we would call a semi-private or private setup for restrooms. Floors two and three are community style. So they're a little bit different setup. I'm not sure exactly why it's set up like that, but as you'll go through, you'll see the differences. Can all of the beds be lofted? They would be, these would be stackable. So it's not technically lofting, but you're able to, as far as I have been able to see, all the furniture thus far can be stacked within these rooms. I've not gone through every single room, but we do not advise students who live in these halls to ever purchase a loft. So you should be just fine. So now we are on um, the third floor. We're going to show you a few different rooms here. This is a single. This is a single. You can see kind of the size of this guy. Now you notice they don't have a restroom attached. So you have a common lounge area here. I believe the kitchenette area is back this way. So you've got a sink, you've got a fridge, you've got a range with an oven and a microwave over here. A little bit bigger than the other ones. Are you able to bring pets? No, no pets. Goldfish. You can bring goldfish, no other pets. Here's a double. That's another double. And here would be a restroom set up for the community style. So you've got one bathtub, two shower units that are individual, but it is community style, along with two toilets and a sink with a fan, apparently. But that won't be in here when you get back. So that's Shively. It just varies on the floor in the hall and the room that you're in. Um, measurements are pretty different. So you can see you have a different type of wardrobe here that has been pulled off of the actual dresser unit. So it just really depends on the room that you have. Are there any additional questions that I can answer about Shively in general or measurements that you need to take? Well, I do want to thank you all for joining us. I know Shively is a confusing building, but hopefully this made it a little bit easier You'll find that you'll enjoy the space here. The rooms are a little bit larger than other rooms on campus, and you have a nice dining facility located nearby, and you're close to the recreational center here. Looks like we have a question. Does every dorm hall have the shelves on the desks? Not every dorm hall. So, or there'd be residence halls, but it all depends on the hall. Furniture varies hall to hall. So like right now, we're in one that has these because it's stackable furniture. Woodworth will have these as well and you will have different ones within Studebaker West and Studebaker East, so it all depends on the hall. Are we able to bring freestanding air conditioning units without a doctor's note? That one I do not have an answer for. You'll want to call our office at 765-285-8000. If the assignment says double, will it be the smaller double or could it be the larger double? I do not know on that one. I believe it will be the smaller one, but I do not want to lead you astray. If that is incorrect, you can call our front office at that same number I just mentioned to find out. Any additional questions? If not, I wish you guys all the best and we'll see you guys on August 15th and 16th here in Shively Hall.